guys, so this video is just going to be on my experience of going to hair school and then graduating hair school and then transitioning into the workplace or workforce or whatever you want to call it. Well, you know, like working in a salon. So um, first off, I'm going to start out by just saying that um, I went to a really small school. I live in a small city, so it's pretty much your only option if you want to do hairstyling is to go to the school. However, um, there is a few schools outside of my city, but moving wasn't really an option for me. I have a three-year-old son. My whole entire family lives here. My husband, boyfriend, fiance, whatever you want to call it, um, he works here. You know, there, it, it didn't make any sense for me to get up and move eight hours away to go to a bigger school, even though the bigger school is considered better, like amongst... Um, Everyone in the hair industry here that I know, anyway, we all, you know, say, oh, that's cool, you know, that school's awesome. I'm not going to say the name of the school, but, um, you know, that's known as a really great school where I live. However, my option was going to the smaller school. It's still good. I still got a great education. I still know a lot of people that I work with that went to that school, and they are amazing at what they do. So I'm not bashing schools or anything. I'm just saying that the school I went to... It's a lot smaller compared to other schools. So the school that I went to is called Academy Canada. And it's, you know, career college, whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, so my experience in that school was good and bad. Um, there were a lot of things that I'm not really going to get into it just because uh, my teachers are on my Facebook account. And I don't really want to offend them. <laughs> but, no, they were great teachers. They really were great teachers. I mean, everyone has problems with their teachers at some point. You know, they you know, things you don't agree with. But I mean, overall, they were amazing teachers. I learned a lot from them. Um, I learned a lot from my fellow classmates. I learned what I was strong at, what I wasn't strong at. Um, perming, I hate perming. I will never do perms. I hope I don't ever have to do a perm because I hate perms. Anyway, that's a whole other topic there. But you know, I loved, I loved my school. My advice for someone going into um, hairstyling is, first off, you're going to meet a lot of people, a lot of girls. Well, there are guys too. In my class, there was no guys this year. Um, they did tell us that there were, you know, there were men previous years and, you know, there are a lot of great um, male hairstylists. However, in my class, we didn't have any. So I'm just going to say, you're going to meet a lot of people that you um, click with and maybe a few that you don't. I didn't really have that problem. I kind of got along with everyone in my class, pretty much. Um, yeah, there was, there were drama. There, I mean, you put so many females in one room for a full year, you're going to get some dramatic moments, some drama, you know. But I mean, I got to say, my class wasn't too bad. There were a few incidents that I'm not going to get into. But, um, you know, what happens if bitches be crazy, you know, so just going to say that. But, um... Yeah, so you're going to meet a lot of people that you get along with, a lot of, because, you know, you all have the, you have the same interests, you all, you know, love doing hair, and most of the time when you're, um, when you're going to school for hair, you usually have an interest in makeup, nails, you know, things like that, so you're going to meet a lot of people that have the same interest in you, and at, at uh, this, sorry, I'm not going to edit this because I'm filming on my iPhone, so whatever, if I make mistakes and screw up and tumble over my words, just going to have a deal with it, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, what I was saying is you're gonna make you're gonna meet a lot of people that have a lot of common interest as you, and that is awesome. However, and you're gonna make friends and you're gonna love it and you're gonna, you know, I fit in so good here, it's the first time I felt like I fit in, whatever. However, you need to understand, or you need to not understand, that came out weird. Um, what am I trying to say? I know what I'm trying to say, it's just how I'm trying to word it. Uh don't make um your friends and your new friends a priority. Make them um, sort of like your second priority. You're there to learn. You're there to get better at what you do. Whatever you do, don't, you know, don't socialize so much. Spend your time doing your work. Because I did do that at one point. I felt like, you know, I, I was picked on a lot when I was younger. I never had a lot of friends. I stayed in the house. I played video games, you know makeup and meeting all these people and hair and all that meeting all these people that have the same interest in me and not in me I keep saying in me I'm as me this having the same interest as me made me feel like I finally found you know I finally found people that I can talk to and that had the same interest and when I talk about hair and makeup and nails I don't sound like an airhead to these people I mean some people are like huh who cares about your hair I don't give a crap about makeup and nails stop talking about that shit that don't mean nothing to me is that Josh? No, I think that's my upstairs neighbors. Anyway, see, I don't really get it at that point. But, you know, so I finally found my little 
group that I felt like I fit in with. So the, the first, the beginning of the year, you know, I've really focused on my work. But then as I started making friends and everything, I kind of fell off that a little bit and I focused on my friends and going out with my friends and going to the bar with my friends and then, you know, being too tired to go to school, you know, on Monday morning. Not that I went out on Sunday nights, but, you know. Anyway, I just focused a lot on my friends. And then I kind of fell behind. I mean, not too much because I still did graduate with honors, so I never fell back a lot. But I did find myself struggling just a little bit in a few things that I knew that I should be struggling in just because I, I knew that if I put my mind to it, I could do it. It's just I was focusing more on other things than practicing. So that lasted for just a, you know, a few weeks until I finally was like, you know what, just stop. So I, I, I didn't stop socializing, of course, because they were my friends and I did, you know, really like them and I really enjoyed talking to them. However, I tried to spend more time on my studies and um, doing what I was supposed to be doing rather than um, socializing too much. You, you kind of have to figure out a healthy uh, medium. Is that, yeah, like a healthy mix of having both of it. You know, plus I have a three-year-old son too, so I had to work all of that into the mix, which brings me to another point. Um, sometimes it's really good to, while you're in school, um, if you can find a place to work like a salon, you don't even have to be do hairstyle. You can just like work at, um, like in the reception or whatever, but you still get to see um, how a salon works. That is very beneficial. Um, if you can find a place that you can shadow, you know, you um, follow uh, another stylist, like you just shadow them, it's very beneficial and very helpful. You will learn so much more watching people do it in the real world than you will in school. Because in school, everything is by the book. A lot of the times when you're out in the salon, it's not by the book. You have to do things a little bit different. You have to work with a person instead of a mannequin. So it's a lot different. So... If you can somehow get to shadow in a salon, I would say take it. If you're a busy mother, you know, and you're trying to work school, I, I completely understand because at one point I did um, start working at a salon and I had to leave there just because I found, first of all, it wasn't the place for me. Great salon. It was a great salon. I just, I didn't feel like I fit in very well there. So that was one reason for leaving. But also just going to school and having a three-year-old, and studying, and practicing, all of that, to me, it was just not something that I couldn't handle. I'm sure if I really put my mind to it, I would have been able to handle it. It's just not something I was willing to... I just figured, you know, it, it was... All that time that I'm spending at work, I could be spending studying and focusing on my son. So, I just decided not to do that. However, the few weeks that I did work there, I learned so, 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 so much. Like, it's crazy how much you learn when you're working than when you're not working so and also like I said I didn't really fit in there very well so that brings me to my next point when you do find when you do like graduate school and go you do your work term first usually I don't know about other places but where I live your work term is three weeks I was very lucky that the place I did my work term at actually hired me on as well so that's where I work to now um, it's Chatter Salon I'm not gonna say the name of my city some people will already know where I live just because you're either my friend on Facebook or um, like I know you in real life or whatever, but Chatters is a place that's like all across Canada, so I don't mind saying the name because it's not like hopefully you won't stalk me or anything. But um, yeah, Chatters is an amazing place to work at, really. And my um, advice to you is at, do your work term. Um, if even if it's a place that you don't enjoy working at, doing your work term, just do those weeks that you possibly like. Do what you can in those weeks. Learn whatever you can, and then if they don't hire you on and you don't like it, well, that's no big deal. But try to find if you do love it there and they do hire you on, then that would be awesome. Like that is amazing. Find what I'm trying to say basically is find a place that you fit in and that you're comfortable at. Because when I was working at this other place, nothing bad about the people that worked there because they were all awesome. But like I said, it just wasn't my it just, I didn't fit in there. I, I knew that it wasn't for me, like that specific place wasn't for me. And I tr I almost felt like I didn't enjoy my profession anymore. Like I wasn't enjoying, like I was second guessing why I even went to hair school to begin with, just because I didn't like it that much. And now working at Chatters, uh, it's a completely different experience. Like I know why I went into the hair, um, the hair industry now, I, because I love it. So it's really... It's really important that you really love the salon that you're in. Otherwise, you're going to end up hating what you do. You're going to end up hating um, hair. And, I mean, you might not even hate hair. It's just that where you're working makes you feel like you hate doing it all the time. So that's really, really important is make sure you enjoy where you live.
or we work, not where you live, but enjoy where you live too, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's so weird that I can't edit this just because I'm like screwing up a lot. Whatever. This is how I am in real life, so you know, I stumble over words all the time. Anyway, so what else? What else? What else do I have to say? There's so much more. Maybe if you have any questions, you can go ahead and like leave them down below and I can just answer them for you because there's so much like with school and transitioning and you know what don't be scared I know that when I okay when I finished school before I got my work term um there was literally like a week what was it we finished school like on a Thursday and I had not we were supposed to start our work terms like we had a week like vacation or whatever and then we we're supposed to start our work terms however I did not have a work term worked out with any salons at all I hadn't passed any resumes I've been thinking about it a lot and I knew what places I wanted to work at and what places I were gonna I was gonna pass out resumes to and all that I just hadn't actually done it um, I'm a really bad procrastinator so that's my own fault but I know it was kind of scary you know and kind of nerve-wracking because all the girls in my class they had their jobs lined up and the you know people would say oh so where are you doing your work term to and I'd be like um I don't really know yet and then change the subject ow I keep hitting myself um so yeah I never had my work term secured um like months in advance or weeks in advance like other people did if I continued to work at the job that I was working at before I would have had my work term it would have all been worked out but like I said I didn't enjoy working there so that was a sacrifice that I had to make to um be happy so it took me it didn't it didn't take me a while to find my work term no I passed out my resume to three different places chatters being my first choice just because I heard so much great things about there so I was so happy when they did call me and I went in for my interview and started like three days later and it's awesome but um yeah but basically what I'm trying to say I'm just rambling on blah, blah, blah. basically what I'm trying to say is that those scared nervous feelings that you might get um, like before you finish school like am I gonna get my work term like am I gonna find a salon to work at you know there's gonna be a lot of competition because I graduated with like not a big class but you know enough a big bigger there was more people in my class than I think there is salons where I live so that gives you an idea um so there's you're probably gonna be nervous about you know am I gonna find a place to work the, those feelings are completely normal you will find a place just keep at it pass out resumes you know um, another thing I'm gonna say is that when you go into a salon dress your best and I'm not saying that you know your best isn't what you always dress like just and I'm not saying that you have to have makeup on and things like that but just look very put together because a lot of salons I mean well it depends on really the salon that you want to work at um, I know where I where the salon like the chatters is very um, trendy I mean they're not like too trendy they're not like you know you know no stuck them there nothing like that but you know if someone comes in and they're dressed really nicely and they look you know trendy and they look like they are current um, with the new hairstyles and you know that's gonna make a place want to hire you because that's what when people come into the salon they're gonna see someone you know their hair done nicely their makeup done nicely or dressed nicely and they're gonna say hey she looks really put together I really want her to do my hair so just try to dress when you go for your interview or when you're even when you're passing out a resume try to look your absolute best you know if you have been you know grocery shopping all day and you look kind of crappy you know you got kids and you know you just oh you know I'm passing by there I might as well pass my resume don't do that you know go home take a shower brush your hair you know put on a little bit of you don't even have to wear makeup maybe a little bit of like um, mascara or something just maybe lip gloss you know something like that just to make yourself put to get look put together and you know nice and yeah so you know what you, you totally get what I'm trying to say right I hope so yeah that is my advice for that um let's see what else what else what else I don't know I don't know if there's anything else much that I have to say just that if you have any more questions of something I didn't really uh if I didn't touch on something that you want to hear about or whatever just um leave me a comment and I will definitely make like another video just answering your questions or I might not get any questions at all but <laughs> leave me questions Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to go now, so thanks for watching, and bye!